Well, don't that beat all. I'll never forget those two. They had such a powerful passion and an eagerness to learn, too. Everything they did was for the birds. That's not the Sam I know. Sam's a demon. He led my parents to an early grave. Got them hooked on gambling. Pushed them to rack up tons of debt. And then... Eh, that don't sound like him to me. You sure you ain't got your Sams mixed up? It's a common name, you know. Only one Sam in this business. I swore that I'd humiliate him by winning the gold cup. Destroy his reputation. Then I'd at least have some kind of revenge for what that bastard did to my parents. Hmm. Now that that's out of your system, back to it. Excuse me? You heard me. Thought you came out here to learn about chocobos, not to get revenge. Uh... Cloud, for your next task, I'll need you to take Selena and gather choco grass, which so happens to grow above bodies of water. You kidding me? This fossil's trying to get us to do his dirty work again? <laughs> Choco grass is a genuine panacea. I kid you not. It'll cure whatever ails you, and then some. And once I am cured, maybe I'll be inclined to share more stories about the good old days. <sighs> He's obviously full of it. If not for him, then please, do it for me. I need to know what happened to my dad. <sighs> okay. When I said it grows above water, I meant above. It's called the floating flower, because it grows in the air. But with an ocean chocobo, you can harvest the stuff with ease. Thirty tufts ought to do. Best hop to it, Cloud. You don't want my death on your hands, do you?
Since you seem to be in the know, you need a skin. You need a sandbox. Big shot in Walmart. Uh huh. So you must be pretty stunning. I don't know. The air was in the sky. I think striking is a total of this one. That's gotta be it. Oh, if only I had found you sooner. I could have saved you from your own vulnerability. <laughs> You get your hands on that choco grass. Well, well, if it ain't my beloved choco grass. This stuff can be one hell of a hassle to gather. Thank goodness I had you to get it for me. Okay, so what are you gonna do with it? <laughs> I suppose you've earned the right to know. First, I take this fluff, mix it with some chocobo feathers, and let it ferment. Once it's dry, I boil it all down. Then I squeeze it all out and voila, my patented choco tincture. That's some kind of magic medicine? Oh no, just a little fun. This wrinkly, cheeky old... Speaking of grass, if you've got some extra tufts on hand, would you mind sharing them with my assistant at the shop? I promise I'll make it worth your while. Please, tell me about my father. Hold your chocobo, son. There's still one thing you need to do for me first. What a surprise. This geezer isn't gonna tell you Jack. Face it, kid. You've got a lot of nerve. Casting aspersions. After all the wisdom I've shared. All the what now? 
So you haven't realized you've been training this whole time? Tracking down Selena forced you to get in touch with a chocobo's feelings. And all that running across the water you did helped hone your sense of balance and your bird handling. Key skills for any aspiring jockey. What do you say, Cloud? Bet you feel like a real choco pro by now. Can't say I do. Sounds to me like you need more training. Reckon we ought to add one more item to your regimen. Think of it as a final trial of sorts. Oh, give me a break. Don't go changing the subject here, Gramps. We're not doing your stupid trial. No, it's fine. I'll do it. Then it's settled. I'll be your opponent. And dear Selena will be your steed. If Cloud wins, does that mean you'll finally tell me about my dad? You've got a deal. But know that I won't be pulling any punches out there. When you're ready, give me a holler and we can hit the track. Thank <laughs> you. 